Good morning guys, it's the 2nd of December, so my hair was just in plaits but I've just took it out but it's still like a bit damp which is not good. <laughs> That's me story. Um and I'm wearing my pyjamas so I just thought I would come on and I guess start today's video. I don't know, like I said before, if I'm going to be vlogging every day of December because I've already posted like the 1st of January's video which was Esme's advent calendar so I guess there's leeway if I miss a couple of days but I just thought I'd show you our stockings I don't know if I've showed you our stockings on camera yet because I ended up getting some stocking holders so I just thought I'd show you so here we go so here's our stockings I don't know if you can see so we, I got these three little stocking holders off somebody on Facebook it's like a virtual market that I've joined it's like a virtual Christmas fair so they're the three stocking holders they're not very evenly placed but obviously the tree's there so me and Sam have got these big red stockings because I got them last year and then as well is the little white one um yeah obviously they don't 100% go but that's what I've got anyway because me and Sam like I said we already had the big stockings <sighs> excuse me <laughs> So I've added the little Christmas tree ball, uh, Christmas pudding bauble there, which was from Poundland. And then I don't think I've got any other new decorations. I don't think so. So here's Esme anyway. She's sat on the floor in her pyjamas. <laughs> She's currently unbuttoned because I just changed her bum. <laughs> Say hi, yeah. So I've kind of put her on the floor. <laughs> Do you see she's moving? She is moving around. I'm trying to like get her to crawl. So I'm just putting her on the floor a bit each day. Hiya! Hi! <laughs> Hi! I'm putting her on the floor each day, seeing if she's gonna like crawl. Like, she's really making an effort. Last night she was really trying. And as you can see, like, <laughs> she's turning herself around. But she doesn't really roll and she doesn't really crawl. But just because I think she's never really had the opportunity because we've been too fed, she can be quite sick. So, yeah, she's not used to it. This is her walker. So, my grandma gave us this. I think she had it from like it was my cousin's little girls but obviously they never used it because i think they had two so this is what we've got we as is getting one from, from my mum for christmas and it's currently at my mum's house because my my dad kind of persuaded my mum to give it to esme early so esme's already been in it at my mum's house <laughs> are you turning around hi yeah so Esme's already been in it at my mum's house, but this is the one that we've got here anyway, but I think we'll be swapping and this one will stay at my mum's house and then we'll have the new one here. So yeah, this is what Esme's been going in anyway. She's been absolutely living here. Is that how you turn around? <laughs> you are so funny. So you can't crawl, but you can turn. <laughs> You're so cheeky. Hiya. Oh. Here's Ollie, come and say hi. Are <laughs> you trying to look? Oh, you're kicking him. She's completely turned the other way around. <laughs> Can you cry? Say hi, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if I suggest so, but I did, obviously, I've done Esme and Sam a gift advent calendar for the month, but because Sam gets a early for work before I'm even awake so I've decided that Esme and Sam can have their gift the night before so they're having it like the day in advance so they had the first one on the 30th of November so last night on the 1st of December they had their second one so in Sam's advent calendar he got a chocolate bar I think I did actually film a bit actually so I think that'll be in the 1st of December's vlog vlog and then Esme got like um, a set of bath blocks so she had a bath with them last night and she absolutely loved them it's just sort of a bit different makes it a bit fun <laughs> she's really trying bless her now 20 to 11 normally i'll get esme well she's normally way dressed by this time but i thought we'd sit in bed and try and read a few books and see if esme's gonna go down for a nap so <laughs> we just picked books at random out of her little 
basket in her bedroom because oh no you're pushing the camera we're going to be getting a bookshelf for christmas for today from sam's mum so until then we haven't got book storage so we've just used the nothing <coughs> basket so you can't really see what's in there because she's got quite a lot of books so it's just like a pick and hope for the best so i'll try and rest the camera here a second while i show you so the first one i picked out is this picky eaters but this is just from the works and these are the three for five pound books so if you buy 10 you get 10 for 10 pounds so that one and then this all in one piece i think that was from the works as well but i'm not sure and then this max meets a monster so these are all just random books that i picked out they're not ones that i would probably pick but we haven't read them in a while so i thought i'd give them a go see if she can go to sleep <laughs> We literally read all three books, but it took like a few minutes for Esme to fall asleep. So I'm going to try to put her down, hopefully. And then I'm going to like brush my teeth, get dressed, sort out my hair, get Esme's clothes ready, bring her a nappy upstairs. And then I need to put the nappies on wash. I need to put the nappies ready to wash and then probably do a few more jobs downstairs. So the time is now... Five past twelve actually, Esme was supposed to have her milk at half eleven but she didn't wake up so she had quite a long nap to be honest. I think she had like an hour and a half maybe, probably like just over an hour actually. So that's the longest she's had in so long and she slept really well last night so I'm really proud of her. So I'm just getting her milk ready so I've just put the milk, I'm just getting the milk out of the warmer and I've just connected up the pump. So she has this caravel in her milk which you've probably seen a hundred times. So she's having... Uh, one and a half scoops still and she has 150 mils of milk so that's gone up loads in the past week or so just because i thought she was hungry and maybe not sleeping the best so i kept up in it and she's been sleeping really well apart from the last week when we've had a total nightmare with teeth and stuff but she's been sleeping really well overall so we just had a parcel as well i'll show you as soon as i've given her her milk so now i'm just mixing the caravel in Connect it to the pump now so it just screws on like this. It's so cold in here today, I'm gonna to put the heat in on, I think. So I've just been making some little personalised bookmarks as well. Well, not personalised, it's got flowers in, but that's this one. So while the milk is filling into the wire, I'm just gonna take Esme's pH. So I just use the syringe to obviously take some out of Esme's stomach, it's called like aspirate, so that basically shows me whether the tube is in the right place or not. So, her milk's almost ready. So today as well is the 2nd of December, which means we are officially out of the national lockdown, I think. Let me just feed Esme. So as I was just saying, today we are officially out of lockdown, but because of where we live in, we're suddenly in tier 3, which is really good. I think most of the... UK is in tier 3 to be honest but that means obviously no mixing and stuff like that but I think as I said yesterday we can still have a bubble because Esme's got additional needs and because she's under one so yeah I'm excited because I think all the shops are going to be open as well so obviously Christmas shopping and stuff like that we need to go shopping for all the food for Christmas day and it's going to be so exciting so today we've just had a parcel delivered so Basically, I applied for this online, and it's basically an American charity that the family, like families, sponsor children who've got cleft palates and cleft lips. So I found it online through another mom whose baby's got a cleft palate and a cleft lip. And basically, the American families sponsor children that are going to have operations to repair them. So I basically just applied, and I thought, well. I'm not going to get one because, you know, how many children probably apply for it. And, yeah, it's, I had um, an email... Oh, let's kick myself then. I had an email the other day saying that we had been granted the parcel or, like, granted the funding. And then, basically, I had another email... I thought the door just went then. I had another email saying that we had... that our parcel had been shipped from America. And then I had an email 
from Royal Mail saying that it was with them and they'd be ready for dispatch. And then literally just turned up today. I didn't know when it was going to come, so that's pretty exciting. So let's have a look what's inside. Ah, oh, so we've got a little Cluddles for class and it says, Esme, this Cluddle pack was sponsored by our generous donors. So I thought that's really lovely to keep in her keepsake box. And then look at her little bear, it's the most gorgeous thing. Obviously she hasn't got a cleft lip so it's so as if it's the palette. That is the most gorgeous thing and it says Kudos for Clefs on it. And then it's got this little Kudos for Clefs label. And then even like the feet of what Kudos for Clefs on. That is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. And even like the little label as well. It's such a small cute little gift and I think that is just... I don't know if I'm going to let her pay with that. I think I'll probably let her have a little cuddle, but I'm going to keep it as a keepsake because obviously it's such a journey. Aww. They've sent her a little baby girl as well. It's size 18 months. Obviously, it's not going to fit her anytime soon, but it should fit her hopefully by the time she has her operation because her operation will be around the time she's one year. It might even be slightly delayed because of COVID. But it says every smile has a story. It's just so gorgeous. Oh, and there's a little book of something inside. Oh, it's a gorgeous little story about this star having like hurt himself and having to go to a hospital and getting a scar. Obviously, Esme will have a scar inside her mouth, but I suppose for children that have got cleft lips, their scar will be visible on their face. Obviously, the if you see the pictures on the cleft pages these days, like the, the healing they do on the lips, it's just amazing. Like you literally can't even tell they've got the scar hardly compared to what they did like even like ten years ago. It's amazing. Like some of the kids that I've seen, it's just so good. But this is just the loveliest little thing ever. I don't know if it's very practical, but I kind of even want to keep the box. Like it's just, it's just adorable. Like it's just such a nice thing. I'd love to sponsor some of the kids, obviously. I don't, it's not really a thing around here, I don't think. But it's just such a nice little thought. So I'm going to keep it in the box for now and obviously show Sam and stuff like that. And I'm going to give Esme a little kill of the teddy. Let's go. Hey, look what you've got. It's for you. Do you love it? <laughs> I just had a panic attack then thinking, oh my god, her tube's open, then just remember that it's connected to the milk. <laughs> Do you love it? Look at all your toys. Do you love it? Is that making you happy? <laughs> Say thank you. You lucky girl, aren't you? It's so nice. Okay, Esme's got these little scotch pancakes. They come in like a pack of six for like 40p from Audi or something. So she's got one of them. I literally spreaded the tiniest bit of biscoff on it. And then she's had like a little crisp as well. It's like one of them little puff crisps. That's all that's left. And she had a whole pancake. So this... This half and then these two bits are all that's left from one pancake as well. But she seems to be quite enjoying them actually. And she never normally sits in here and eats. She normally sits in her high chair. But obviously she was feeding. So I just thought she could sit here and eat at the same time. Because she was getting grouchy. But literally like this is the state of the chair from breakfast. I, I really need to take it off and wash it. But then we literally use it every day. So I'm not too sure. But I really do need to wash it later. Because it's really disgusting. <laughs> So the time is now five o'clock or five to five. I'm just gonna put some chicken burgers on because I can't love to cook today. Yesterday we had um, chicken carne with jack potatoes and Monday we had pasta. So I'm just gonna cook some of these chicken burgers. These are from the three to 10 pound range and as they, in the fresh section you get three, like three packs of things. So I had a pack of burgers, a pack of chicken bits that we had at the weekend and then a pack of like the chicken fillets as well which we had with the pasta so these three are left so i'm going to cook one for me and sam and then one for sam's work tomorrow so just on a little bit like bread roll or something and then i'm going to cook some chips because i can't be bothered today i'm going to do the dog's advent calendars because i completely forgot to give them their calendar earlier
to number two. Oh, today they get, wait, <laughs> they get these little, little parts. Ali, so greedy. Upstairs. <laughs> sit. sit. Good boy, Brody. Sit. Ollie, sit. Sit. Yeah, sit. So, Esme is just asleep. We've just been for a walk. It's obviously pitch back now, so. I'm trying to do jobs at the same time, so she's just going to sleep in her first chair, so I'm going to leave her there until she wakes up. She's not due until like 6 o'clock, so. so I'm just going to have day two of my advent calendar. It's actually in the same place as the dogs on the calendar, which is really weird. So today I've got a little snowman. So I don't know if I said, but today we posted off Esme's letter to Santa. So for anyone that doesn't know, you can just write a letter and send it off to Santa. If you type in on Google Royal Mail letter to Santa or something, it tells you the address. It's something like you just address it to obviously Santa and it's like, I don't know, like reindeer land and it's got like a pretend postcode or something. I don't really know, but yeah, you just pay for a stamp and then you just send it off and then you get a letter back. It said it takes up to 10 working days to get a letter back. And I'm pretty sure that my friend sent hers off. I don't know when she sent it off, but she got her letter back today and it looked really cute. I don't know if it was from the Royal Mail hers, but it was like tied with like ribbon. It was just really cute. So like I said, I'm not sure if she sent hers off to the Royal Mail or not, but it looks really nice. So I'm hoping that we get a letter back soon because it's going to be such a nice thing to keep in her most keepsake box. I know that um, if I think you have to send it off before like the 10th or the 15th of December so if you haven't already get writing your letters to Santa. Hi guys please excuse me it's an absolute state of me but I completely forgot to film an outro again. So I obviously had a bit of an issue the other day with one of my vlogs so I uploaded it and for some reason there was no sound and obviously because there's made in the video they deleted the comments or won't let people comment so I don't know why they're doing that because none of my other videos are like that it's just a recent thing i think so yeah that happened so i had to delete it and then because i had like a pre-filmed haul or something i uploaded that so then now i haven't got any pre-filmed video well i've got two i haven't got any pre-edited videos so literally the last two videos i've had to edit really late at night and upload late at night so the time is nearly like half nine twenty to ten and i've just finished editing this video so i'm gonna get it uploaded now and it will probably take like 20 minutes half an hour to upload as well so i'm really sorry about the really late vlogs hopefully during the week I'll I'll catch up and film and edit a bit earlier but I'm trying my best to do every single day so today is the 5th of December and I've not missed a single vlogmas yet so fingers crossed we'll see how it goes so I hope to see you in the next video guys if you liked it please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you soon bye